Diane at Minerva and today I'd like to share with you a sew along for this simplicity top 1316 and we're going to be making today version A this one here with the v-neck and what we're going to be using is this beautiful Minerva exclusive range viscose chalice and this particular design is called floral expression so it's a wonderful deep navy with all these beautiful colours in it and I think it will make a fabulous top especially with this really nice drape to it now it's 150 centimeters wide it's a light to medium weight fabric and it's 100% viscose now should you wish to sew along with me today everything you require will be linked in a bundle below so all you have to do is click on that link and you'll have everything you need so you will receive the simplicity pattern the viscose chalice in floral expression a matching thread some buttons and some interfacing so if you click on that link you'll have everything you need to get started now while you're here why not take a look at the Minerva Craft Club with the Minerva Craft Club you get 10% off all your orders for a whole year so that's a really good deal and that includes anything that you buy with us today also why not create a free account with a free account you can connect with like-minded sewers from all over the world share projects, ideas and inspiration. It's a really good place to share your sewing hobby and it's all completely free. So why not go ahead and do that now? Now, before we begin cutting out our pieces, we need to take our pattern and check our measurements. So please check your measurements against the sizing on the back and don't just go for your standard dress size because these can vary by quite a lot. And also patterns can vary in sizing from pattern to pattern so it's always best to check yourself with a tape measure first and that way you will ensure the perfect fit now when you've done that we're ready to begin cutting our pattern pieces so remember we are cutting for version A but should you wish to sew any of the other versions you can sew along with us up to the appropriate steps but just remember to stop and make those changes where necessary so we're going to go and cut those now so let's go and begin. Now here are our pattern pieces. Now remember we have cut for version A. Here is your front piece. Now you're going to cut one piece on the fold of the fabric and here is the fold in the fabric here. I'm going to make a note of your notches. Lengthen or shorten at this point. And also this is your cutting line. Now we have the side front and sleeve. Here is your straight grain. Now for this piece you're going to cut two pieces. Again make a note of the notches and lengthen or shorten at this point. This is your bust line here. Now for your side front piece and sleeve, see here it is a grown on sleeve, you do need to make sure that you cut the correct piece for your bust measurement. So within the pattern there are different side panels for your cup size. So you need to check the appropriate measurements inside the pattern, it does give you guidance and check that you're cutting for whether you're a A, B, C, C cup, D cup, so on cut the right cup size for this piece. Now here we have your back piece. Again, this is a straight grain. You're going to cut two pieces, make a note of your notches and these circles here. This is your side back and sleeve. You're going to cut two pieces, 
the grain line is running this way, lengthen or shorten here and make a note of the notches. Here we have your front facing. Now the front facing is cut on the fold. So you have your fabric folded this way. This is the fold of the fabric. You're going to cut one piece on the folding fabric and one piece in interfacing. Make a note of the notches and this stitching line here. This is the back facing. You're going to cut two in fabric and two in interfacing. This is your grain line and make a note of the notches. So now we're ready to begin making our top and your first job is to wind half of your thread onto your spool and check you have a sharp machine needle. So I'm using a universal or standard needle a size 70 today. When you've done that we're going to take our front pieces, so that's this piece, with the V going to the fold and we're going to stay stitch. So we're starting from the shoulder point and we're stitching towards the centre with a, a straight stitch. I'm going to do this about five millimetres, five to six millimetres from the edge of the raw edge. We're going to do that now. So I'm going to flip it over and go from the wrong side now to the centre again. Now this stitching stays in place, so we won't be unpicking this. This is just to keep it all stable once uh, the neckline is complete. take your back pieces, back centre pieces with your neckline on like this and we're going to do the same thing. So you're going to start from the shoulder working in towards the centre back a few millimetres, say five to six millimetres away from the edge and stay stitch again. same on both pieces. Here we have our front piece with the v-neck and here are our side front panels. Now we're going to pin these into position, we're going to match these notches here and here on both sides. So with right sides facing, so we flip it over and I always like to pin at the points where it's notched first. So if you pin here, I know some people like to pin this way, I like to pin this way and take them out as I go. We're going to pin this one in place as well. And at the top point. Now when you've got those key ones in position you're going to pin the rest of it. So this needs to be eased in to fit around this curve. So just make sure it's all lying flat when you pin it. And then pin all the rest of the way down the front on both sides. Stitching your seams with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance.
just take care around this curve that everything is nice and smooth. on the other side. Now when you've done this you can overlock or edge stitch your raw edges and press them outwards. You may also find that if you clip around your curve like this before doing your finishing it helps that front section lie better so you may want to do this as well. Here are your back centre pieces and your back and sleeve side pieces. You're now going to stitch the back side pieces to the back piece here. Pin it before you begin so with right sides together flip it over and pin it all the way down this side before stitching together with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Next you're going to stitch your centre back seam and you're going to do this up to the circle that you've marked here on both sides. So with right sides facing, pin that centre seam, matching these notches at the back and here is my marking where we're going to stop and back tack. Just finding my circle, there it is. Match up your notches here. Apply your interfacing to your neck facing pieces. Then you're going to stitch them together here at the shoulder. So match the notches. Place it down flat first before you begin so that you can see that you're attaching it in the right place. Here are your notches, flip it over and pin at this point. Stitch that in place. Take your facing and pin it all around your neckline. You want to line up your shoulder points here, your centre point at the front V and the back notches here. Pin it all around then we're going to stitch into position. Press the seam towards the facing. Now we're going to understitch just on the inside of that seam here. So you're stitching through all the layers onto the facing and this will hold it and stop it from rolling. So make sure that all your seams are lying towards the facing piece here. It's just a couple of millimetres away from the edge on the inside. Now again, if you try on your blouse first just to check the fit of it and then pin your side seam. Now I've pinned mine a little bigger than 
quite a bit here because it's the point where I'm smaller and we're all different so you might find you need to do the same so it'll be fine down here but up here it goes out a little so I've put pins and I'm going to stitch that seam now <laughs> I've done this what I'll do is I'll trim away that excess fabric with my seam being a little bigger in those areas and then after that I will overlock it you're going to stitch down either side of the back vent and the neck and you're going to square it off when you get to the bottom here So turn, make sure it's lying flat. And you're going to stitch up this side. Now it is quite slinky fabric, so you might just want to check that everything is still level. Because if you've pulled on it at all, it may not be. So just check before you do your top stitching. Now at the top here, you're going to make a button loop on one side and stitch your button opposite. Now you can do a thread loop if you wish, you can use a piece of small elastic or you can just use a piece of ribbon or maybe a piece of scrap of this, it's entirely up to you. But you make your loop on one side to fit your button. So I'm using a piece of hat elastic, I will link that in the bundle below, uh, just deselected if you don't wish to receive that. Finally you're going to hem your sleeves and your bottom hem. Now it is a 1.5 centimetre hem allowed and in the um, pattern it says to do a turn up your fold, press it and do a little small fold inwards then. I'm just doing a single fold on mine. I've overlocked a small amount off and then I'm just doing a single fold here, turn up. So that's up to you how you want to finish your hems but do allow 1.5 centimetres which either method you use unless you wanted your sleeves to fall a little shorter and your hem to fall a little shorter. Try it on and decide. So here is the finished blouse. Well, I hope you've enjoyed sewing along with me today. Have you sewn this pattern before? Please let us know in the comments below along with any photographs. We always love to see what you've been making. Also you can ask any questions in the comments and we'll do our best to help you in any way we can. Remember to like and follow Minerva to get more video content like this every week. Well that's all for today but I hope to be back with another sew along really soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.